In this video, we are digging deep into the world of construction to talk about the foundation of building. We will explore the various types of foundations required for the building stability and longevity. So, let us lay the groundwork. Every building starts from the ground up and the first thing that interacts with the earth is its foundation. The foundation is what supports your structure. Ensuring it stands tall and withstand the load of building and forces of the nature. But not all foundations are created equal. They vary based on soil conditions, building size and many other factors. Generally, foundations are categorized into two main types, shallow foundation and deep foundation. The shallow foundations are typically used for smaller buildings and are placed near the surface of the soil, while deep foundations are used for larger structures or when the surface soil isn't strong enough. Now let us try to understand the shallow foundation. The most common shallow foundation includes isolated spread footing, strip or wall footing, combined footing and raft or mat foundation. Let us see first type. Isolated spread footing. This is your go to for individual columns or pillars. It's the simplest and most economical choice. The isolated spread footing can be of three types. First, pad or box footing. This type is fast in execution and requires less labor. Second, slope footing. This type is economical in concrete quantity but requires more labor and third is step footing. Next type of shallow foundation is strip or wall footing. It is a continuous longitudinal strip of reinforced concrete that serves as foundation for a brick wall or concrete wall. Next type of shallow foundation is combined footing. When the column spacing of two adjacent column is less or SBC of soil is less, then the isolated footing of these columns may overlap. This leads to the construction of combined footing. When the columns are subjected to relatively lighter load, then this simple slab type combined footing can be used. But if the loads are heavy, then to economize the material, beam slab type combined footing can be used. If the peripheral column is on the property line, then the position of column is at edge of the footing as shown here. In this case, it is preferred to combine that footing with nearby closely spaced column footing. Otherwise, we can also connect the eccentric footing with adjacent column footing by a beam called as strap beam. This arrangement helps in distributing the weight of eccentrically loaded column footing to adjacent footing. This type of footing is called as strap footing. Now let us try to understand next type of shallow foundation that is raft or mat foundation. Generally the raft foundation can be useful in the following condition. First, when the total area of isolated footing would approximately more than 60% of the total ground area beneath the structure. Second, if there is a possibility of differential settlement if individual footing is used. And third, when soil strata are unpredictable and contain pockets of compressible soil. And fourth, when basement is to be constructed. In case the bearing capacity of foundation soil is low like black cotton soil, the size of isolated footing will be comparatively more. Then there may be chances of overlapping of the individual footing. This may lead to raft foundation. Generally the raft foundation can be constructed as plain raft slab, raft slab with pedestal and two-way beam slab raft foundation. The plain raft slab can be used for fairly small and uniform column spacing with relatively light load. The raft slab with pedestal can be used when columns are subjected to very heavy loads. 
the pedestal are provided under the columns to guard against punching shear and negative moments when the column spacing is large and carries unequal loads it would be more economical if a two way beam and slab raft is used this type of raft is particularly suitable when underlying soil is too compressible now let us move to deep foundations these are used for larger structures or when the surface soil isn't strong enough generally deep foundation includes pile foundation pier foundation and cushion foundation for pile foundation think of it like driving a giant nail into the ground piles transfer the load to deeper and more stable soil layers they are suitable for tall buildings bridges and marine structures where the upper soil layer are weak or compressible the pier foundation is similar to piles but piers are installed by digging holes and filling them with the concrete the cushion foundation is used for underwater structures the cushions are water tight structure that go deep into the bedrock choosing the right foundation is a critical decision that affects the safety and durability of your building it's not just about what's on the top but what's below that counts always consult with a structural engineer to determine the best foundation for your project that's a wrap for foundations if you found this video helpful give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more construction insights drop your queries or experiences with foundations in the comments below and we might feature them in our next video until then keep learning